Hey guys, it's me, your best friend Joe. Welcome back to Tomb Raider, the Angel of Darkness. This is part 11 of my Let's Play. We are right where we left off. I just needed like a two month break from this game as uh, I don't think anybody could blame me for that. If you remember, we tied up Eckhart. Is that Eckhart? No, that's, you know what? I don't even fucking care. We tied him up, it got a little kinky, and now we're going to enter this cutscene. Bouchard! Sorry, Eckhart's the main bad guy. You were just Why did you want me dead in Paris? You're just the loose end that needed tidying up. Tidying up. Who ordered it? Who ordered it? This is just, you know, a casual, like, pre-sex conversation. I once almost hooked up with a guy who looked a little bit like Bouchard. <laughs> You saw one of them at the church. <laughs> I think I dodged a bullet there. I think he would have tried to kill me as well. So you sold out. We're going to say a psycho, huh? We want to stay on his good a side. Psycho, oh, sorry. Huh? Forgot how to... Worst. Look at that. Laura is going a little like rogue from X-Men. She's got like a white streak right? in her hair. What exactly from the right angle. Him? I want to see the other angle again. Of a so he had he took the painting from us. He was ordered to, to do it. Here. He's being blackmailed. Yada, yada, yada. Y'all know. Same old, same old gangster shit. It wasn't easy to get out of the loop. I spent a lot of fucking time running into a lot of fucking lasers by a group of people called the Cabal, as dangerous as Eckhart, and at least as insane. Okay, um, the Cabal, not the Mafia. The Cabal. Not the Mafia. Look, streak. So chic, Laura. All these years of having the same like brown hairdo. It's like time, for, you know. I don't want her to go like Monster High hairdo here, but you know. Am I talking over this too much? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> She's just like me. <laughs> I love it. That's my favorite thing like to say to people Don after Crow. they tell you a long what story. In Interesting. Love that streak. Um, one of the five obscure paintings he found out too much. Are they talking about Von Croy? Yeah. They exchanged information. And exchange information. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, I found the faxes, then the four obscure engravings he sent to Von Croy. That's Vassily's right, we read that in Von Croy's apartment. Four obscure engravings he sent to Von right, Croy. sure, sure. Originally had five, five but kept one in the bag. Are we why at Vasily's place? Important? Why, why are they? An, an encoded map of a particular, particular painting's location. location. So, so each engraving is a map to a painting. And nobody knows what the fuck a painting's do. Yes. <laughs> but your friend got careless. You know, it'd be just a lot Fences easier to. I don't. By the listen, I don't want to tell you how to do your magic shit. But it just seems really complicated. It was another loose end to be tied, tied it up. up. So, like Von Croy was just another loose end. Killed like Vasily, you mean? Uh, we're going to say killed, not tied it up. Why does he desecrate killed, the bodies? Not tied That's a good question, Why Laura, to be honest. Desecrate the bodies like that That's a good question. It's to disguise something he does to them. To disguise something he does? He takes, he things, takes things from the bodies. bodies. Things he needs to revive the cubiculum nephilim. I'm glad they put that explanation the in the game because it seems a little bit of an extensive way to kill someone. Nephilim race. nephilim race? You've you got heard it. Of the I've heard of it, the sleeper. Uh -huh. is insane. That's he thinks he can use a sleeper to, to breed the extinct Nephilim back into existence. Existence. I'm okay no with that. His ambition, is, there? is there? So, so this, this fifth and grand the man kept the key, key to, the to the last of your painting. painting. I'm going to take, take a look around. around. It'll be well so hidden. Vasily was very cautious. Top things that aren't Not well hidden. Enough. You'll see. The map in the last engraving shows the location called, called the Vault, the of, Vault Trophies. of Trophies. Can't you just tell the me where it is? You seem to know about it. Tardis Stronghold. Eckhart's been, been desperate, desperate to get, get into, into it. it. Well, this is going to be fine. Alexa Tardis Vault. This is all five of Fucking petition paintings. for me to be the new fucking Lara Croft voice. And hid them. The last, last one, one is almost, almost definitely, definitely in the vault. Go ahead. So do you know where the vault is located? No. Only that it's beneath, beneath the trial house somewhere. somewhere. Why don't and they the just blow up the there? thing? Like, so. I feel like they're trying to get into it's these the places the with, like, magic there. and, like, knowing shit. But, like, around. this is modern Are day. Going to leave me like this? Yeah, we're going to leave yes. you like that. It's pretty kinky. I come back for you, sweaty. I'll be back with the fifth engraving. He has been running around a lot. That's really sweet. You take a break, Kenny. Many dangerous secrets, secrets of their, their time. time. They just need to blow up the straw off and like get every like just dig things. out underneath it. Is that a building I'm that's like really important? Good. Some of them may come in use. That might be a really it important building. I don't really know what protected. that is. I'll bear that in mind. I'll bear that in mind. But I've got a streak in me hair now, and I've got things to do. Which way do I go? <laughs> I believe we go this way. 
Yes, yes, yes. So we're like underground in the sewer and then all of a sudden, what? We're in this gorgeous place. I guess there's stairs down there that go to the sewer. I don't know why you would have a stair and like a staircase in your fucking extensive living room that goes down to like the fucking sewer, but you know what? Whatever. All right, Laura, climb up every single step. I think I needed to start on the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the run button in this game, by the way? The sprint button? Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna get a leg upgrade here. Honey, I wish I could fucking move a fucking dresser My and get a leg upgrade increasing. as well. Good for you, girlfriend. Now, if you could just... Okay. That's fine. We'll, we'll step. take two steps back. One hop forward, and we're up there now. We did it, girlfriend. You just all you is all you, mostly me. About all okay. I wish you couldn't run under these things, it just makes no, just makes my life a little complicated. This is a really nice library. This is very beauty and the beast. Oh, fucking shit. Fucking damn. You know what, fucking Laura? This is why you fucking need this cheat because I fucking can't. It's probably, it's honestly like really easy to do this. I just really. Can't not be fucked with this game for one more fucking second of my life. And I can jump over there. Okay. But butt unclenched. Pull up. <laughs> she just likes to hang there for a hot fucking second. Um hell are, oh, oh, okay. There's a string to pull on that side and a string to pull on the other side. You did it, you done did it. One of these opens the clock, and one of them opens a medi pack, I'm pretty sure. This one might just be the clock one. Because I don't really need to. Yeah, I don't need to open the Medipack one. I should just. I'm just gonna swan dive to the fucking bottom. What? The floor was a clock the whole time, and now you're looking at the number three? What number should I move the clock face to? Okay, just so y'all know that I'm a, tomb, a master, tomb, a professional tomb raider, I will pull this other lever, this other chain. This just seems like a really extensive setup for like your library. Like, who was designing their library and they were like, I need a cord that opens up a door. How many times do I gotta pull this mother? Thank you! <laughs> I need a sliding out chest of drawers that leads to a... You know what, Laura? That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Drop it like it's hot, girlfriend. Uh, let's... Where's the fucking clock? Okay, here's the clock. Um, and you just move it to... Please, Laura. This is the worst controls. Okay, if I just hit right a whole lot, it'll do it. Go to three. Nope. Let go. Let go. Stop it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm to push. Now we're getting somewhere. I saw this thing that was like, um, a oh girl. You want to go this way, sweaty. Um, it was, oh God, I swear to God. Um, like, you can have a cellar installed in your kitchen that's just like this. It's like a circular staircase. Let's look at the artifacts. They're really cute. The Periap Shards. The Periap Shards. Here's something about the Periap, Periap Shards. Shards. They were said to be they three said weapons of light like crystalline shards. They fly. Chris Periap T. Clinchidium Cummins. Kingunt. I sort of have like a southern British accent. Is that a thing? Is that what Madonna has? What does she do? The sleeper. The sleeper. That's not what it is, though. It's um, the sleeper could become Nephilim, a stone cask reputed to contain the last remains of the extinct. Whatever. whatever. We got it. We got it. Buried somewhere in Turkey. I don't remember that. Let's pick up this sheet because we need this sheet. Um, and there is a secret. Look at this. Like, I feel like this was a really. Like this monitor and TV screen or like something else for this whenever this game was made. Alright, so I remember the code from when I was a fucking kid. It's 3159. I don't remember how you get it. I just fucking remember. It's ingrained into my head like everything else in this fucking game. Was that not the fucking code? Are you fucking kidding me? Hold on, just one fucking second. Oh, it's 31597. It's on the piece of paper we just picked up. Well, look, I got like, you know, four out of five of the numbers right. You know, listen, pin, pins are usually... Can you fucking do this, girlfriend? Like, move your chunky, blocky fucking fingers. I'm finger shaming her right now. <laughs> fucking put that on Tumblr. Did you do it? 
Please fucking, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. I remember the pin num pin, first of all, I almost said pin numbers and that was gonna upset me. Pins! I would be really grateful if you could pick up this fucking obscure gra engraving. Pins are usually four numbers, so I only bothered remembering the first four. I don't have enough room in my brain for all of these things. I've got it full of, like, was there something else I could do over here? I thought I could, I thought my little hand thing came on. Girl, what I need you to do right now is just get the fuck hole out of here. Just get it out of here. Just take every stair at once. I guess I make fun of how she climbs stairs, but it's probably the most realistic, don't do that, stair climbing in a game. Because usually when you go upstairs, like your character just sort of glides up it. What? He's gone? Where did he go? Someone else got to the kinkiness before I could get to the kinkiness. I wish that that wait, or even the, even the uh, handcuffs are gone. Something happened to homeboy. Where is he at? Let's look in this closet. Don't get surprised. Surprise! It's him. He's dead. And that's the story. What the story. Hell is going on around here? Let's see if he's What the hell is going on around here? <laughs> <laughs> like how she just screams that. Let's see if, if he's got keys to this place as she stares at a pile of keys on the fucking floor. All right, that should open the red door that we couldn't get in earlier. And then we're gonna go meet our friend, the detective upstairs. I don't remember his name. Rolf? I don't know, that's from The Sound of Music. It sounds I right to me. I wonder if that key will fit here. I wonder if that key will fit here. Well, the good news is you don't have to wonder, Laura. You can just do it. We're gonna save it because occasionally this game glitches when you talk to this man. You have to sort of like go around. Did it? Okay. Okay, we did it. We did it. I think if you like talk to him from a certain angle, it like locks up. Paris and whatever happens here. He wants the exclusive story. You got it, homie. It's so he gave me the passcode. Pass, it's a low-level pass. Inside the I'll be inside the I complex. Can take it from there. I can take Have it from there. Have you tried this code yourself? He hasn't me? tried it. No, the place gives me the So he's creeps. selling us like something shitty. And all kinds of spooky, spooky stuff. stuff. What goes on in there? Totally freaky. I give my innards to find out. Ooh, but it's, but it's way, way too gothic, gothic for me. For me. Oh my god, don't worry. This version of Laura is toast gothic. So edgy. What is that? What are you gonna get me? A handy machine, a handy pistol. machine gas pistol, country gas loader. country loader. No Damn, force, honey. I already have all the guns in the How game, much? so. 800 euros. 800 euros? How would I be carrying, carrying that, that kind of money? Seller's market, I'm afraid. Look, he's locked I'll up. <laughs> Choke on it. Choke Let's on it. it oh my god. Why don't you just put a gun to his head and take his gun? I don't really understand. He is totally a Mary Kay salesperson. Look at that pink car. 100%. He's gonna try to sell me some Mary Kay on the drive there, I just know it. This is where you fucking left me in the middle of the fucking snow? He drove me like one block. I could have walked. Yeah, at least I didn't have to pay for an Uber. <laughs> okay, so here's the situation. We have to get... There are a whole bunch of guns like locking down this place and we need to climb up. I believe there's a place to climb up. Uh, we can't get around them. So we have to sneak our way into this situation. Where's the place you climb up? It must be on the other side. Oh, here we go. We had to trigger this cutscene. It's, it's gonna move a box onto another, or move up that box off another box, and then we can jump on the big, the box from the box, and they have an air conditioner. Y'all got it. That was like the perfect explanation. Y'all have never heard a better explanation in your life. Is it gonna put it down on this one, or is it just gonna pick it up? Because if it puts it down here, is it gonna crush me? I might get crushed. Okay, no, it's moving it across the room. Good. It would have been a really cool way to die, though. I wonder if it brings it back. Okay, good. I was like, is that gonna bring it back to me? So we need to jump onto this cooling unit. Please, please, Laura, please. Please. God, I thought she was gonna run off the edge. She did, she, she did end up running off the edge. So I think we could technically have gotten onto that. Is that gonna move it back over here? Oh shit, fuck, damn. It's a fun, it's fun. I didn't even, I thought I needed to do a running jump. I didn't even need to do a running jump. Did that, okay, oh, it was going, it was going anyway. I'm fine, everything's great, congratulations. You know what, I'm gonna save it. <laughs> I'm gonna save it a bajillion fucking times. No, Laura, why did I, why, why would I ever tell you to do that? Why would I ever tell you to do that? Just flip around, girlfriend. 
don't jump in the air like that again. Don't you fucking do that again. We're just gonna hop, skip, and jump off of the corner. You did great. Congratulations. It would be great, though, if you could get up there. It'd be cool, though, if you could. Okay. 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 <laughs> I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. I was sort of, like, flopping around like a goddamn flounder. Fucking... I'm just gonna fucking swim. I threw these bars. I fucking had it. <laughs> Yay, we made it. Okay, so there should be... I thought there were some guys up here to kill. We need to go and move um, that thing up there. It needs to rip the guns off of the... You know, you'll see. Fucking, when have I ever been good at explaining a goddamn thing in a fucking Tomb Raider video game? Just do a little flip. Um, yeah. Where's the... Okay, shh, it's fine. I got everything figured out. This is literally the most in control I've been. You know, our hair is su looking super shiny and looking super great, so y'all don't even need to worry about anything. We need to kill those guys, but the situation is there are automatic guns that, like, kill you immediately, which I guess I could technically avoid. Um, but... With, like, my infinity cheat or whatever, but I don't want to do that. It's okay if you want to climb this a little bit slower. Like, I've got all day here. Like, I'm actually just going to check Grindr really quick. Um, let's see if this boy's messaged me. Oh, I got a buzz! <gasps> oh! Okay, never mind. <laughs> so, this guy was, who was talking to us, apparently he's only here for the holidays. Darn it. <laughs> Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay. See, the that's the great... The, the real tragedy with Tomb Raider is that it came out at a time when Grindr didn't exist. So, you didn't have anything to do. Like, what did you do before Grindr, before smartphones? You had to actually watch her fucking climbing animation for 20 goddamn minutes. Do I have the security access to go in here yet? Top 10 things I don't have security access to. This fucking piece of shit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting somewhere. I remember there's a security access place. Everything's fine. I'm gonna have to kill a bunch of, a couple henchmen or so. Okay, thank God. Well, it's, it's always a, it's always a mystery which gun Lara Croft will pull out. Oh, here's where the guns are. You see those things like suspended on that wire? It's really weird how they don't see me. Like how she's like, I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. And then she just goes like, fucking ham on these guys. God damn it, girl. Okay, what is she doing? She like freaked the fuck out there for a second. Okay, everything's great. Um, we need to go up this set of things. Oh! Did someone just shoot at me? The camera angle changed and scared me a little bit. This is how people played video games back in the day. You just waited for people to climb ladders all the time. All the time people were climbing ladders in Tomb Raider games and you just didn't... You just had to live with it. It was just your life at the time. And you just... We just cl climb ladders. Well, thank fucking God that's over with. I'm literally gonna have to cut out like 20 fucking minutes of me climbing a fucking ladder. Am I back to this... Fucking thing! I thought I would have almost, thought I would have almost did it. Here we go. The thing that I need to do is in this room. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'm just gonna breeze on by you. Did he fall down there when I swam past him? Oh, honey. Here we go. Honey. <laughs> Yay! I did it! I moved the thingy! Or at least I opened the door. Did I open the door? I turned it on. And now I can get in that door and move some shit around and it's gonna be a happy fucking day. And we're going to do all of that and more in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying Tomb Raider the Angel of Darkness. If you are, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. That guy's shouting at me. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!